Okay, in this Blender 2.7 tutorial, I'm going to show you some a few tricks about rigid bodies that you might be able to put to use in your animations or advertisements or whatever you're trying to do. All right, so I have these cubes here set up at, as rigid bodies. I have a playlist on rigid bodies if you're not familiar with how to set them up. All right, and then I have this sphere is also a rigid body, but if you look at the physics tab, that's set to animated. I click, I turned animated on, and the reason being is that I can set keyframes, and you'll notice that. If I press the down arrow key, you can see it's going back and forth between these two keyframes with the up and down arrow key. So if I run it, you see it'll just go through there and it takes those blocks out. All right. So well, that's okay. That's cool. But you can do you can add more effects to that. There's you can actually be quite creative in here. So one of the things if I added just to say a separate cube to the scene, a lot of times when you see smoke added to a scene, people use this quick effect. You go to object and quick effects and it's you add smoke to it and what it does it adds a domain around this object this is the domain and you can see of, over here in the physics tab all it's done is turned on this smoke basically it's as if somebody clicked here and it used this tab here and it set the basic parameters in place so that if I was to press alt a right away smoke would go up inside here all right but you can do more than that because these are pretty powerful little engines so let's just take Let's let's go into Z. Let's see. Well, I'll just show you. I'll just show you one or two, just so you have an idea. I'll get rid of this one here. Get rid of these two here, and let me come up to this object here, and I'll add smoke to that instead. So I'll do quick effect smoke, and there's my domain. Well, maybe that domain is too big. I don't want it to be that big, so I'll shrink it down. S Z. As long as it's within that domain, it'll work. Okay, like that. So then, let's run it. Alt A, and you can see. You can see the smoke is in there. I'll get up a little bit closer. See, it's kind of filling the domain. It's kind of hard to tell. Right, maybe I'll make the domain just a little bit bigger so you can actually see it. All right, there it goes. All right, but there goes the cube. So my domain is sitting there. Well, you, believe it or not, you can actually parent these. So I'm going to just take this domain like this, and I'm going to shift select this, and I'm going to parent that to the object. Now my domain is parented to my smoke object, right? And all this is active because it's a rigid body. So now let's see what happens when you run it. So there it goes. So it stays together and my smoke goes taken off wherever my rigid body happens to go at the same time. And it stays in there. And then you can get quite creative because you can do lots of things with these things. I mean, I could take this rigid body, if it was an animated rigid body, I could put it on keyframes. I mean, it's, it just is over and over. In fact, I wonder if, let's try one thing. I haven't ever tried this, but I'm going to try. I'm just going to shift D and shift D and shift D and shift D. Now you've seen from other tutorials that I've done what happens when you put objects on top of each other. They tend to go flying off because they don't like to be in each other's space. So let, let's see what happens in the smoke world. And there they go. They didn't like being amongst each other, so they took off on their own with their smoke inside doing its own thing. So you can be very creative within Blender and do all kinds of things and then... Uh, and then render that in cycles. So I don't do a lot of smoke effects because I tend to work in a real-time environment within game engines, and you can't do smoke in real time except for this limited type of stuff. But really, the way to do smoke is with volume rendering in cycles. Okay, well that's it for now. Hope it helps you in your projects, and I'll see you in the next video.